Good morning, good morning. We are live in Results One. Trooper Steve on patrol, and uh, today we are back in Sanford, in the city of Sanford, you know, as WKMG hits the road. It's the new thing that we're doing. Last uh, month we were focused in East Orange County, and now it's the 32771 zip code, which puts us right in the city center of Sanford, Mellonville area, this whole East kind of Seminole County area. And uh, I know nothing about this part of town, and I'm gonna be completely transparent about that. Uh, I did not grow up here. I worked some uh, cases out in this area, but when it comes to the history of this area, uh, don't know much about it. So today we're gonna be welcoming in our director, Mr. Bob Myers, into the truck. Welcome, sir. Good morning, good morning. Uh, we have a nice little uh, friendship with Bob because, you know, Bob, has been with News 6 for quite some time. Yes. And uh, I'm saying it politely, quite some time. Quite some time. Been a long, how long have you been with News 6? Uh, 39 years. 39 years. Uh, director Bob's been with us now. You haven't been a director the whole time. Not the whole time. Not the whole time. So 39 years. So that means you started in 1984? Five. Five, five. I was born in '87. Okay, great. So Good you, to know. I wasn't even a thought when you were messing with the cameras, <laughs> kind of thing. But you grew up on this part of town. Yeah, just uh, a little bit, a little bit south and east of here, but all within the uh, twenty, what we call the twenty-five block range. Okay. From Twenty Fifth Street North. Yeah. Almost, you called it the grid. Yeah, because if you look at it on a map, uh, you know when they built the city and started it, it, it becomes a grid, just like. Any old city, like you see in the, right. in, in the big cities up north or something, you have a grid up to a certain point, and then things start to branch out. But uh, and, and, and this echoes back to, of course, to to my my mom's time, who was born born and raised here. My mom was born and raised here as my, my grandparents. Time. Okay. So that's how I came to be. Um, so that stretches back to the 1890s. But they, which is crazy because well, <laughs> this uh, this area wasn't even like started till early 1800s. So they were here fairly early. Yeah, in the in the late in the late eighteen seventies, when General Sanford started to bring people over, there was Fort Mellon. Right. The army had Fort Mellon. With you told me about that here. yesterday. Yeah. It was east of here, and then General Sanford started. He called. They called him General Sanford. He was a, He had been an ambassador to Belgium. Right. Um, then he started the Sanford area. Okay. Uh, and so, but they joined up later on because it was not that far away. But now we're here visiting, and mm -hmm. we're doing this feature. This has probably been one of the most changed towns over the past hundred years or yeah. so when it yes. comes to development, the way it used to look, to the way it knows now. And most people don't even know the history of Sanford and the, the port and the amount of supplies that used to come into this area. Well, exactly, because at, at, <clears throat> when it started, not non, notwithstanding the, the fort and Fort Mellon and then, um, you want to go that way. Okay. Um, it's the only time I'm going to let someone <laughs> steer the truck. Bob's in charge today, y'all. I'm supposed to push the buttons. Yeah. <laughs> You're used to that. When we first started, his hand was like, and change camera. And, and change camera. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, this was the hub because the navigable, the navigable part of the St. John's okay. stops here. And then it's 300 miles up to Jacksonville. And you can do barges and steamships. Wow. So... As they started, uh, this area is very agricultural. Uh, General Sanford started orange groves and things like that. So orange and produce, and then later on produce, everything could come up to here by rail. They built little railways everywhere around here. Now they're trails. Right. Uh, <laughs> I was like, wait, where are the railways at? <laughs> they're trails now. Uh, and everything could come to here and be loaded onto the uh, steamships and, and headed out uh, up wow. to Jacksonville and, and to wherever they needed to go up north. Um, and then later on, of course, when Flagler built his railroad down the, down the East Coast. It's amazing hearing you say certain names and people yeah. go, wait, Flagler built the road. Wait, is that what Flagler County is named yes. after? Yes, it is. Yes, kind it is. of thing. Yes, it is. And so all that. Uh, and so you built the town from here down in, in a nice grid. And, but then there was the outlying areas and the groves and, and east of here. You know, one of the biggest changes is is what we call 13th Street, and we're right at 8th now. 13th Street, as it heads east, becomes Celery Avenue. Right. And there's a reason for that, because there's now houses all out there, but it used to be all celery fields. So there's a reason for all the street names, right? Right, exactly. And uh, that So was, we're coming up here on 10th. A, a gentleman named Bob Jones' uh, service station was right there. Right there on camera. And it's amazing some of the buildings still have that old... 
vintage look yes, to it. Yes, it's very. Do you think that's like meant on purpose or? No, I don't know. Just are we going to go straight? straight? Yeah, go straight for just a second. All right, we so we're crossing see. over Celery, like Bob had been telling us about. Yeah, that'd be about. 13th Street. Yeah. Okay. And then here it jumps over to 13th West. That's up. Right. Okay. Exactly. Oh, and that's up. There's an elementary school right there that I went to. Just. Uh, just uh, so you went through grade over. school all through this area. Right. Man. So, yeah. So you've a, seen it grow. <laughs> And my mom went to that grade school too. That's what's Southside Elementary for any of those who. Hey, I'm Southside sure there's some Elementary. folks that are still watching so, it. So, uh, and uh, just right up here, you'll see railroad track. Um, and it's no longer an active railroad you know, track. I, that's a good question. They do have the rails there. Uh, I don't think it, it extends. I'm not sure where it extends anymore. It used to be able you could get on one of these things and go to Winter Park. Wow. When we were kids, they'd always Here's take us railroad on this railroad right yeah, here. This is it. Is this, it is an active railroad. So I wonder what they're using it for now. It's obviously sun railing. Because this is the way I'd go to school, right here. In fact, this road right here, I'd so take across. So on 19th across. Street. Yeah. So let's make a right on 19th. I'd, I'd go this way. I'd come up from my area this way. And you'd go from, you'd ride your bike to school on this road. This road right here. Yeah, 19th up to. And, and no sidewalk. Still no sidewalks today. <laughs> <laughs> We're no sidewalk. But you didn't have a lot of traffic. You see, it's all residential. These are a lot of the old homes. You notice that a lot of them. A lot of them have been changed, but there's a lot of uh, the other architecture. I noticed that yes, yeah, I noticed yeah. that yesterday when I was out here in Mellonville, just south. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a town that's been annexed by Sanford City, but long time ago. Long time ago, I think it was 1830 that mm -hmm. it got annexed. I did a little history uh, right. research yesterday after talking with you, and I'm noticing the same thing that has now happened in the College Park area that's happening here. So a lot of the homes right, there's one right there. are being taken down and then the property is so nice that they're keeping the properties and creating modern homes out here. And that has happened throughout throughout time. For example, you see they're getting sod. <laughs> yeah, but it's also a brand new home. It's a brand new home on a lot that used to have an older home as, you, as, as the ones around it. And look at this one right here. Look at that. They've restored that. That's beautiful. Right. I like homes like that. And if you go up this way, you All should right, we'll see keep going. just a little. So we're at Palmetto and 18th Street now, yeah, headed Palmetto. north. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I love neighborhoods like this, Bob, because it feels like a community right. kind of thing. Like that old, you can come outside, walk around, and it's not, you don't hear the hustle and bustle of the highway or anything like that. Right. You, you don't, not here. And uh, <laughs> like I said, we used to ride our bikes to school <laughs> right through right through this area. No house looks uh, the same. It's none of these cookie cutter homes. No, they were all individually built. And a lot of them, every once in a while, you'll find one that was a craftsman style. So what would is, be a craftsman style you know, home? You uh, know, if we go right up here. Make a right? No, right, we can go straight. Okay, I'll let, let her, go. her go. Even though she's driving around on an illegal golf cart. I, I think they're allowed in Sanford now. Oh, look at oh, Bob, certain, get I me. Have, I have a feeling. I'm going to have to check city ordinance yeah, check on that. that. See these two right here? These two homes are beautiful. These two homes, see the, the way that porch and, the, and that craftsman, it's what they call a craftsman style. Now, you'd have to get with a real expert on it, but that's a little bit of how they were uh, fashioned like that, with the porches like that. So that's almost the epitome of what a bungalow kind yes. of is, right? Mm -hmm. I lived mm -hmm. in one in, Col in uh, North Colonial Town for a little bit, and I just loved it. It had the great wood floors, original brick fireplace, stuff like that. And here is... Uh, Southside, what was Southside Elementary? So this is the elementary school that Bob went to. One of them. <laughs> One of them, yeah. Fourth so and fifth grade. Yeah. Fourth and fifth grade right here, Southside Elementary School. And man, it it still has that right. old look to it. Sure, if you go up around the, uh, the corner, you'll see even more. And then the, the, the actual front entrance is on the other side. So off of Magnolia here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll take a nice little drive by the school here. And check it out. I love having these 360 cams on the truck because we can see everything that's going on. Uh, all right, so here it is. Yeah, there's there's uh, the side entrance um, right there, and of course this was our play area out here. And, and so it's uh, no longer an elementary thing. school. It's a it's a, a, fi a, a nursing home. A nursing home yeah, now. More or less, yeah. A beautiful nursing home. <laughs> yeah, with this. I wouldn't mind crashing there when it's time. So and this park though was all here. This was part. No, this was our school playground. And this is where we, you hung out. We we would play every day. You know, so you can look at this game. right now and be like, "Yep, I remember yeah, all we, this." We play kickball and all, you know, with whatever fifth or fourth graders do. I wish we were still playing kickball these days. And of course, you're right back to 13th Street. You know, you're only 13 blocks from downtown. That's the cool thing here. It's 
it feels big, but in theory, it's it's not. We can uh, take a left. All right, we'll hang left here. Seeing people ride around their bicycles, it just has like this cool neighborhood feel to right. it. Now, Park Avenue is like that main strip that goes into the downtown. So this is Park Avenue right. we're approaching now. Right. So as we go north. Okay, so we'll go north on Park. So Park has always been the main north and south mm -hmm. kind of route. Mm -hmm. It would have been 1792 or 17 and I, before they moved it over. Got before they west, it okay. would have come right down through here. This was the first 7-Eleven, which is now Park Avenue Mart. But that was a 7-Eleven, and we thought it was so cool when the Icy's came out. <laughs> so it shows Icy's been around in Sanford for a minute. And it's only one block from the school, the elementary, so we're on our bikes. So guess what we did You'd after? You'd stop by. Yes, we would. And get yourself an Icy <laughs> before you're on your way home. I wasn't supposed to. Don't tell my mom. No, <laughs> no. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully no one rats you out. I think the statute of limitations have it, reached themselves. It was a quarter. Uh, so, 25 yes, cents, Bob? Was, yes. Oh, my gosh. So historic district. So some yeah. of the signs are labeled yep. here. And we get and you enter right into the original brick road mm -hmm. that's I, been out yeah, here. This has been and, and we're getting to 9th Street right here. A little roundabout that you go down. This is nice. I love neighborhoods like this, Bob. Just to, you get that feel that you're in a community. Yeah. And, and, the, and, you know, this was all here when I was a kid, but it, 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 was, it wasn't as old, but now a lot of people are, are, are renovating. And I, I really love to see the renovate. As you know, I, yeah. I'm a lumber and hardware guy. Absolutely. <laughs> But we so they, you guys all know we go straight to Bob, uh, any of the anchor staff. Bob, hey, we need help with something. What, what do we do? He goes, did you go to YouTube first? Uh, okay, now I'll help you. But he wants to make sure we at least tried before right. we go to him. So, so, what is your favorite? Do you like seeing the historical homes still maintained yes, as absolutely. historical homes? Absolutely. Like this is gorgeous right yes, here. Yes, they do. Such a nice job. Like I want as to long as that. the bones are good, you can really do a, a wonderful job on a lot of. Just speaks to the character of the neighborhood of like what it was and what it looks like now. Right, and you're going to come up on the, this. Of course, is the First Baptist Church and the First Methodist Church, but the next road, if we take a left, okay. So this speaking one right of here? architecture, right here at the park be, at Continental should Park, fifth, should be Fifth Street. Yes. Man, he's a traffic safety expert in Seminole County, y'all. I tell you. Centennial Park Centennial here. Centennial Park. Which is a great green space. And this building just to the left, left here. here was the library. And now it is Fifteen. the Betty D. Smith Cultural Arts Center. Betty D. Smith was former mayor of Sanford. Okay. Um, also married to Dr. Smith, which was a longtime doctor. And, and I knew them both very well. Of course you did. <laughs> but th this was the old uh, library in my mom's day. Wow. So, yeah. That I'm glad that cool. they at least kept the building and it's still city owned. And it still looks fine. Look at these yeah. houses. Okay, this. The one we're here to the left here? Yeah, you can see how big they were. And yeah. these were single family homes at the time. Because we look right. at them and we're like, mm -hmm. man, this is a big house. But even then, they're even still then, big homes. Like that was a single family home. And, uh, yeah. Where would you like me to go? Straight, right? Oh, we can go back this way. All right. Back towards the downtown. We'll go back towards downtown a little bit. Man, that house is gorgeous. I love when people take care of A lot of, of the gardens. fret work. Yeah, they do a lot of the, the fret work being the detail. Man. So you could ride your, you know, the cool thing was as a kid, you could ride your bike all over. It wasn't, you know, there's not the heavy traffic. That's out on 1792 and 46. The, you know, you knew where to avoid, but you could ride through here with no problem. It was great as a kid. But no one was cutting you, through and all the traffic see, you and know, all that You go see stuff. your friend's house or you go by and see your buddy or whatever. And uh, and it was just uh, kind of kind of fun. So was downtown as thriving as it is now then as well? When I was, when I was a, a kid, now we're going back to the 60s, yes. Okay. As we came into the 70s, as more uh, shopping strip malls became prevalent, it, it started to, to wean. Okay. So a lot of the smaller businesses started yes. to go away again. Mm -hmm. Okay. As most downtowns, as the strip malls and the malls grew and we and, and Sanford grew outward when the mall came out there. Uh, you're talking Seminole Town Seminole Center. Seminole Town Center. Okay. It, it really, it starts, it starts to wean. And so, as you know, what's the revitalization for downtowns well what you see now is that different people come into the same uh, buildings that right. once housed a little you know uh, private department stores you know you knew the owner you knew the owner of that store that store that's what most they of did. these people that own these places lived right around the corner so a lot of the business owners you were friends with <laughs> yes <laughs> or, or my or mom knew him of course from known him her whole life 
uh, one of the buildings up here had a place called a uh, Wilson Meyer Furniture, and Mr. Wilson and his family lived across the street from us. <laughs> so everyone kind of just stayed in their little grid here. So when did we get to see the downtown historic area begin to kind of come back? When did that kind of start? I, I want to say, uh, you know, I, it really started, I think, in, it did a little bit in the 90s. It was really when the willow tree. Okay. I think the willow tree, really which is now Hollerbox. I'm sorry, Hollerbox. Right, right. Um, Where we'll be live next we'll Wednesday. We'll be live little Wednesday. plug there, little yeah. plug. I think when they showed that you could bring in an establishment and, and to get people down here at night or in the late afternoons and on weekends, that really started to turn around and people started investing, like the Breezeway restaurant over there and, and a few others, and, and to get people uh, to, and they're, and they're always working on it. Right, so here's the Hollerback place. So this was one of the first places to kind of come and then say, hey, let's do some stuff in downtown here, downtown Sanford. Right. And everyone right. kind of picked up on it. There are some places that look like they've been here for a long time and these, still thriving pretty good. Yeah, these, yeah. Uh, a lot of them are now, have now been here for quite a while, like the yard galleries and things. Yeah, we come down here and we walk the dogs. I don't live right. too far from here. I'm about a 10-minute drive. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, it, it's it's dog-friendly. It's family friendly. Uh, when they do cool festivals, they shut down some of these side streets. Exactly. When you, you to do stuff, we never did that in the old days. No, even though the roads were all here, <laughs> yeah. it was like just kind of hang out. Now a lot of this green space is this new? Well, right here, this parking lot. There was two. There was buildings here. I remember there was a sporting. So there was goods, a structure where oh, we're yeah, looking at. There was a sporting goods store on one side. There was a furniture store on the other. Uh, fire took both of them eventually. In the back of it was Hunt Lincoln Mercury, which is out on the the Lincoln Mercury place elsewhere. And the big green space that had some shops with the post office was back there. Okay. Right there on and the And now, the, now it's over here. Now it's over here, but before it was right back, before the post shop was there, it was elsewhere. Uh, just that, what's now the visitor center. Wow. That's cool. Which, which was, and then uh, the, the, the marina, marina. Has, has really grown. Now, the marina, let's, th it's kind of a staple for Sanford. Sure. Uh, people come here specifically for the marina. I've been here, I've lived here all my life, I've visited here as a kid, and it's constantly, it seems like it's always growing, or they're always adding something to it. This used to be the lifeline of Sanford, right here. Right, it didn't look like this. Of course not, but no. the supplies... Well, in fact, the road we're on had a spit that went out. Okay. You know, Sanford Avenue, there was a spit that went you out. You want to go left or right? We can go, we can go uh, right. All right. So there was a spit that went out there you could offload. But I remember when they started, the big building that houses the boats, uh, I remember when they started dredging and building the harbor like it is now, because it wasn't always like that. So this was our rec recreation center, rec, rec center. Uh, so where the Sanford, Sanford Senior rec Center is, it's, yeah, it was the rec center. City of Sanford rec Recreation Department. They used to, for, you know, all the ball leagues and everything else. And now there's people that come out here with their families, they have birthdays, and it's just yes. a nice like community green and the, spot. And the, the greatest thing, I, I wish this was around when I was, okay. is this walking path. It's so you nice. You know, it just used to be a wide street here and grass and then the, the river. But this this walking path all the way now to I-4. Wow. Yeah. Wow, walking, biking path. I would have loved that. And especially, oh. it's specifically designed, it's like 15 feet wide good gravel grade for runners there's people out here all times of day and it's pretty safe and they're they're, Whoa, they're expanding here this used to be our ball fields little league ball fields right here it, man it's i love because my parents grew up in Kissimmee, right and we'll go driving down us 192 and my, my dad used to say he, goes, <laughs> oh, this one's here. he was like uh this was all cows and it was two lanes and i'm like wait what that's insane but it just shows we are constantly under growth. Constantly under growth, but I like it when there's good growth, like like a nice playground like this, like a splash pad. Right, those. stuff that could be used right. for the community. And I'm telling you, this this walkway, I would have loved to have had this walkway to, to uh, cause I used to uh, do run, you know. Okay. And I would go down this road, but it, it is was, nice. it was on the road, because well, in the afternoons there was no one here. Do you know when this uh, path kind of popped up? Do you have an idea? In the last 20 years, I know they started working on it quite a while. You know, I, you'd have to check with the city. I don't know, but they finally did expand it out to the hospital. And Right, know, it does all go all the way out. out. I know you can hop on from Wakaiva Trail. It transfers in Seminole Trail right. and it comes out this way. Which is It's awesome because I live right off of Reinhardt. So right. the trail mm -hmm. 
is like in the middle there. And sometimes I'm like, all right, I'll go to Sanford or I'll go out towards the Seminole Trail off of Heathrow or something like right. that, which is really cool to watch. Man, Especially it's, if you like the bike. <laughs> yeah, I like the bike on uh, perfect days. I, I'm not going to, I am no athletic dude. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, but it's like, they're always out here maintaining things. There's always something going on. Uh, I'm pretty sure long-term City of Sanford residents have enjoyed this. And so Belleville, Mellonville would have been up in this area. Okay. And then Sanford back in there. So there was this distance that we just, Whoa. that's how far they were from each other. But you can see that's pretty close. <laughs> so when Mellonville was annexed and the city expanded out, did they, do you know the history there? Why Mellonville was decided to be annexed by the city? Well, because it was just... And we can turn back okay. on First Street here. Um, this was the hospital, by the way. Okay. This was Simmel Memorial Hospital where I was born. Wow. Bob's old <laughs> stomping grounds well, where he no, was born yeah, I at. Did, I did stomp in the hospital. I you was cried a little early. bit, I'm I sure. Little bit, yeah. <laughs> so now it's the Seminole County Services Building. Exactly. Uh, used to be the hospital out here. Now the serving hospital is going to be where we at. So the main hospital would be one of the Advent or the ORMCs. Orlando Health right. that's close to the Lake Mary area at this point. Exactly. Wow. So it looks uh, like a hospital. <laughs> but you remember, Fort Mellon was was a, was an army fort, so it really didn't have a whole lot of commerce. And when General Sanford starts Sanford and commerce up here, well, that's where you might as well just make it all one. Right. Area. Just take it in. Yeah. Because Mellonville was never incorporated. It was, was always just its town. Right. This was Mayfair Hotel, and my mom stayed with Mayfair. So what for, is it now? Is city owned? Uh, no, it's uh, for sale, I believe. Hey, you want to go Habsy? That's a nice. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice building. Uh, then out here we've got the National Guard location. Yes, mm -hmm. the Armory's always been there as far as, I, as long as I can remember. Yeah, you, you can turn over to the second. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. So for those that don't know, this is an actual National Guard location, and uh, yeah, the actual training takes place there. It is an Armory, and uh, during the uh, tough times in Sanford when. Uh, civil unrest was happening out here we were based out here mm -hmm. Florida Highway Patrol and they took care of us uh, but that was the only time I really got exposed to the city of Sanford and I kind of got hooked with it just because it has character it, it compared right. to other places I compare Sanford to like Mount Dora uh, places that have good history and Even good roots no one behind us no right? we could sit here for a second I always, always uh, it was always funny because uh, the hospital would be right down that way uh, this, that was like a doctor's office there, you know, when they were around this area because it goes to the hospital. <laughs> ah, so they strategically located their businesses oh, yeah, closer. Yeah, now we got a it, law it, firm. Yeah, yeah, now it's a law firm because of the, doc the hospital. Yeah, but it used to be the doctor's office uh, down this road. That's kind a of lot funny. Of different, different, different doctor's offices. So Man, kind it's of just amazing how I think a lot of people don't realize what their town used to be. Right. Kind of and, and and this is remember this is what I kind of remember and going on my mother's memories, but totally different from when my grandfather, uh, as I told Tiffany, uh, who you know, yeah, Tiffany uh, Brown, one of our producers, producer. taking care of WKMG hits the road. I told her, you know, think about my grandfather in 1910 as an 18 year old young man in Sanford. What he remembers everything being, what he what he would have seen. Totally different from what, I'm, what I saw. Wow. And, uh, and then you look at these massive homes that get put in. Yeah, nice. Yeah, well, you know, the, the, the infrastructure's there, obviously, water, power, everything. You right, know, so might as well keep so, the property and put so, nice... And, 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 and unfortunately, uh, a lot of these older homes are wooden structures, and, and there is if there's too much deterioration, it's, it's best just to... Just to take it down. Just to take it down and, and start over. It, it's an unfortunate thing, but sometimes you can't, you can't save it. No, but Bob, man, I appreciate you taking on me this tour today. We're going to keep going yeah, straight Yeah, we go here. right back to, uh, we're on 2nd Street, and right back to where the Ritz Theater. So did you ever, as a kid, go to the Ritz Theater and watch yes. movies? Yes. What, what's I, one movie you remember watching okay, there? Okay, the very only movie I really remember watching was with my dad and my sister going, it was in the 60s, okay. Okay. Bambi. Bambi. Saw Bambi there. That's cool, <laughs> though, because my earliest memory of Bambi is VHS. Oh. Watching it at home, right? Kind of thing. I did. I'm an '80s baby. I'm proud of it. So a lot of people are like, "Steve, you're 12." And I'm like, "Slow down." But we had a theater like this growing up in Kissimmee. Right. Mm -hmm. Every, all the, all yeah, the Kissimmee, main little towns had all one, had just like this. Yeah. And you get your paper ticket. They'd stamp it uh, right at the box office at the front there. But this is what Bob's talking about. The theater there, uh, off to the side, the Ritz Theater. And is it still active? Yes. 
the uh, some. It's now the Wayne Dench Performing Arts Center. I believe. Okay. So under under the uh, uh, the guise of uh, doing other, they do a lot of. Oh, there's shows there all the time now. Okay. And review acts and all. And, mo- and I don't know if they still do movies. They have a movie screen if it comes down. But I did take a tour of it. When we were in high school. Uh, in production class, and in there, and you, you know, the old stage was still there, and a lot of the, the what we call fly space above it, and the uh-huh. different rigging for actual uh, actual shows to be done there. That's when they came through town; they could go there, and uh, it, a, it still a, looks cool. Right. The fact that it's still got some of the old signs up front, mm-hmm. like the well, window glass kind of thing showing what's playing and yeah. stuff like that. It, yeah. You, and, and, and you can, it's, it's still, like you said, movie classics. So you drive by it and you, it has the look, you know what it is. You know, even if they put bank uh, a sign on it, you'd be like, that was an old movie theater kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You can always tell. Always. You can always tell with the marquee. I, the buildings here in Sanford are awesome. I hope that they at least keep some of the structures as time goes on. That old feel. I know some cities actually issue ordinances to make sure that buildings look like that. They designate that. Uh, right, because sure. you look at, I refer to a lot, College Park or Mount Dora, mm-hmm. that they've got commercial places, but they can't look like the commercial building. They have to keep the character keep of the, the place. Yeah. So, Bob, I appreciate you, sir. You've okay. got so yeah. much knowledge. Well, thank you. Uh, we are restricted on time, you know. You know how, yeah, you know how this TV. works. Uh, you've been you've been you know, doing it a long give you a time. Countdown, if you want. <laughs> well, we've got new people learning. <laughs> She's in my ear, uh, learning how to control New Six Plus and all that fun stuff. But, sir, I appreciate you yes, everything sir. that you do with us here at New Six. Uh, but this guy's got so much knowledge. Anytime we have a question, hey, what about this? <laughs> or I'll have be on my map. And I'll talk about a town, and you'll be like, that place doesn't even exist anymore. Exactly. It shouldn't even be on your map. But uh, if you guys want more knowledge on the Sanford area, head over to clickorlando.com, New 6 Plus, and the New 6 app. Uh, this is the month that we're focusing on the 32771, mm-hmm. the historic Sanford area. And uh, we are going to be live. I say we because... I like to show up and eat with the evening folks when we do fun stuff. We might need your truck. Oh, we might need the truck. I'll bring it out here. Bob need... Bob will be here for sure. I might be hooking it up. Don't uh, worry. We, yeah. He says he needs power supply, so uh, <laughs> we might be backing this up right to Hollerbox. Yeah, just, just but right in. join us next week. Uh, we will be live with uh, a lot of our talent here for the evening show, just talking and showing all the things that we have been covering. Live here at Hollerbox next Wednesday, what, 4 to 7? 4 to 7. Mm-hmm. 4 to 7. Uh, you can come out and say hi, or you can watch it. Uh, The man, Bob, will be here helping out with all that fun stuff. I know he enjoys it so much. (laughs) And then uh, hopefully we keep weather looking good. Yes. uh, Because we need good weather whenever we're doing these uh, mobile. Especially outside. uh, Mobile things that we uh, like to get ourselves into. So for now, Bob, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, I'm Trooper Steve live here in Results 1. You guys have a great day. See you later.